Hello everyone, we're here with Ben from Satori. Ben, hello, welcome, we're very happy to have you, very honored to interview you. Can you introduce yourself briefly? Yes, of course. I'm Ben, I am part of the founding team of Satori. Joined uh, Satori as chief scientist uh, when we started the company about four and a half years ago. And over the time transitioned to be VP marketing as well. <laughs> So, Congratulations. Actually, thank you. the marketing of Satori is awesome. You have great messaging, I find, and great swag. Can you tell us a little bit about how you guys brainstormed about it and what, what is the message? First of all, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's a teamwork and I uh, have a great team uh, that, that's doing all of this from ideation to execution. We have our Zen concept over there because Zen basically concept. we believe first of all it interacts with our brand Satori with our name Satori which means uh, which is like a, a, a moment of uh, realization enlightenment enlightenment so the Satori Zen and we think that once you automate governance security access and all of these things you can be at Zen and you can focus on your uh, business value so that is the whole Zen concept so we have scented candles we have uh, massagers, we have uh, uh, spa masks, we have all of this good stuff to symbolize that. And as a company, uh, our slogan is win with data, never lose yes. control. Yeah. yeah, and we also have these, yeah, like with words of wisdom, then, then sentences. So as a company, it's win with data, never lose control because data teams want to win with data, they want to act fast because you, you need that for the AI project, you need that for uh, the analytics project, you need that for everything that's around data. You don't want to wait for weeks for data. But on the other hand, you never yeah. want to lose control, right? Yes. Because that is not healthy. I loved it when we talked yesterday. You described so beautifully what Satori does and how you came up with the idea. Can you share that nice story or that nice insight? So we were at a different company before founding Satori, before starting Satori, and we had lots of great data. We were all data owners that had an amazing uh, amount and quality of data. But that data, for example, I was leading a research and I had data of uh, cyber attacks on millions of uh, applications, okay? Oh. Uh, but that data had sensitive data intertwined in it. And it, it posed a very big challenge for me. How do I share it internally? For example, with customer success, sales engineering, product teams, engineering teams, when it's my data, I'm the data owner, mm -hmm. and it's my responsibility if anything goes wrong. And I don't even know where within that is all the sensitive data, what's where. So what we thought was, what if there was a magic box, like something that can uh, simplify all of that to answer where the sensitive data is within all of my data across different technologies? Where is my sensitive data? Is there any new sensitive data that I wasn't aware of? And also, if I want to enable someone to access data, can I just say they get access but only for a certain amount of time and when there is sensitive data reducted? So that, that was the, the idea around Satori to, to enable that. I love it. And maybe my last question now. I know you wrote a book. And I was very surprised when you mentioned that Springer actually accepted your uh, proposal within two hours. Oh, yeah. And I told you that this is actually fantastic because it means that the topic is so hot and so interesting and so needed that Springer didn't even need to go through, I don't know how many layers of approval through that. So can you tell us a little bit about your book? So first of all, I would like to encourage anyone uh, um, who wants a, a nice challenge uh, <laughs> to write a book, uh, as, right? Yes. Uh, because it's like uh, speaking in a conference. You think you know something until you prepare for all, all edge cases. So writing the book was when we started working with uh, Snowflake. We were wondering what would be the best way to secure data on Snowflake. So that was a good question. And I said, I'll just buy a book from Amazon and read it and I will uh, figure it out. And then we, we didn't find any book about it. So we said it was me and Yoav, our CTO. We were saying, might as well write one. And it was half jokingly. And I said, if we're serious about it, let's find out if it's something that's really needed. 
So let's go to one of the big publications out there. So we went to APRES from Springer um, and we wrote the abstract, like what we want to write about. We didn't start writing the book. Uh, uh, we wanted to first see if there, there is any, uh, uh, need you know, any need, any excitement around this. Um, and yeah, and I got a, an answer from, the, from an editor after a couple of hours. Yeah, sounds like a great uh, topic and a bunch of questions. And we went back and forth and yeah, and started uh, this uh, project, uh, which was a great project. We got help from uh, lots of great people at Snowflake as well to, to make sure that we're, we're not missing anything. And basically it's about how if I'm a, a data engineer or a data platform owner and I need to enable access uh, using Snowflake, but I want to do it in a secure way, like what, uh, what is my methodology? How do I go about it? Yeah. So how is the book called? Snowflake Security. Snowflake it's, Security. It's not a very original name, I know, but uh, <laughs> the technical books tend to be very functional in the naming. So. Well, congratulations Thank on you. the book. Congratulations on what you achieved with Satori. Awesome swag. It's very memorable. Thank you. And thank you very much for being here and for the interview. Thank you so much.